ask you, Morgan, because I think I got a little bit lost. Did you have a specific question for me to answer at this point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you restate it for me? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just wanted you to elaborate more on the, like, because you said that I sort of focused too much on the, like, that word innate. But then it feels, I feel like you used that word, but you didn't actually. I just want you to define the word innate. What does that mean? I, to me, the word innate uh, means that it's something that, that is so natural that, that it's a part of you. you know, uh, I live on a small cattle farm, and when that calf is born, we've had a heifer, we had a calf just the other day. Nobody had to teach that, that young cow how to have that baby. Uh, she didn't need a midwife. She didn't need a doctor. Uh, we did watch to make sure she didn't get in trouble. Some of them get in trouble and need some help. But uh, she had that calf. She knew how to clean that calf. She knew how to get that calf up in frozen weather. And that calf knew exactly what to do as soon as she found the bag to start nursing, get the colostrum so that that calf needed to go. That's innate behavior. Uh, I don't equate bullying to that. What, and, I don't, and I do believe you are correct. Babies do not bully. Babies cry because they're hungry. But babies also, because that's the only way they have to communicate, they also in their very, very, very early development learn that the way to get what they do want is to cry out for attention. And what I'm saying is, as they develop, that crying out or that cry for attention for what they want has to be uh, guided and they have to be trained as they develop because there's no innate human behavior that teaches them how to be civil with one another. Uh, when you put two children together, as you suggest in your scenario, uh, on a playground, I believe you can have a pretty good, pretty good system. In fact, I always thought it was interesting to watch how the two kids that gets in a fist fight and they get drugged to the principal's office ends up becoming oftentimes best friends. Uh, when you get two people together, things tend to work out. When you get several children together, or several youth together, dy the dynamics radically change. But there is that claw to be uh, at the top that occurs with a high number of those children, not 100% of them. Uh, and some kids, you know, like when I was a child, I was actually pretty laid back uh, child and youth. And you know, I, I was not one that followed the group. Uh, when I cut school, uh, which I did regularly. I did it all on my own. Uh, me too. <laughs> I didn't need anybody to go with me. Uh, you know, and thankfully that's the reason why I never started drinking a lot of alcohol or smoking because everybody else did it to be cool and I thought that was pretty stupid. But, um, let me see here. Oh, when you, when you ask the rhetorical question and it was rhetorical, can't we just be okay without someone being a boss? Um, I think that's a great philosophy, but in the grand scheme of things, society doesn't work that way. Uh, we have civil government to keep people from killing each other. We have civil government so that everybody will drive on one side of the road. In England, it's, it's on one side. In America, in the United States, it's on the other side. Uh, you have to have <coughs> rules of behavior uh, so everybody knows how to conform to a degree so we don't have unnecessary friction amongst one another because uh, there's a nasty side to our human behavior. And uh, the sad thing is any of us under the wrong circumstances uh, can do some pretty nasty things. Um, but, but it is a good idea and I think it's, it's fine if you can raise a child with that philosophy. But when they get into the workplace and they're interacting with other people in society who don't have that, that belief, uh, they may find themselves being the bully of the, of, or the victim of the bullies in that environment because they don't know how to, how to react in that environment. Um, I'll have to wait. I've got a, a point I want to make, but I'm, I'm out of time for right now, and I'll make another point next, next go around.